Hey guys, we are back with some more Moto Eastside Hockey Manager, and in this one, we are going to get our first season underway. In the last one, we of course made a bunch of changes that we wanted to make, such as getting a new assistant coach, and some new scouts, some new physio guys, and we tried again getting some other staff, but we didn't have the money, so uh, we're just going to go into the regular season here. And before we do, we are going to take a look at our tactics, because I did not set those in the last one. So we are using unit tactics here, and we're playing the first line the most, 40 seconds per shift. The settings for most of the lines are pretty much the same, except for mentality, which for the first line is offensive, and then for every other line, I believe, is defensive. And then uh, for the third, or the second line is hard-hitting, and then, yeah, beyond that, there's not much difference in every other you know, line combination. It's just a matter of shift length and mentality, I think, for the most part. Yeah. And then as well as the standard power play unit settings and, and penalty kill. Obviously, those are very defensive and very offensive, respectively. And we also have a few personal tactics here that are set. First of all, Toby Enstrom is a really good shooter. He has, our, he has the best shot on our team, so he has been instructed to shoot whenever possible. And actually, I'm going to turn his shooting up to Barrage. And Eric Olsen, one of our rookies, 14 years of age, is really good at hitting, so he has been turned up to very hard hitting. And Henrik Bjorklund also has a very hard shot. He has the hardest shot on the team. Not the, uh, the best shot on the team, but the hardest shot, according to our team report. So he has also been instructed to shoot, and I will also turn this up to Barrage shooting. One more look at our lines. We have Toby Enstrom and Chris Summers on the back end for our first pair. Second pair, Oscar Hedman and Eric Olsen. Third pair is Tom Hedberg and... Which Enstrom is that? That's uh, Tommy Enstrom. <laughs> and then Berglund and Norlander. And for forwards, you have Olofsson, Winkvist, and Carlqvist. Then you have Rosdahl, Johnson, and Bjorklund, Haglund, Sawander, and Sikos. And then Yelvert, Hagstrom, and Wormblom. And then in goal, you have Lundin and Hansies. We'll get Hansies in there because he is our main goaltender. Lundin was just in there to get a couple of games in the preseason games. But now, it's for real. As we have no more preseason games left, all there is is to start the regular season, which starts on September 10th against Vita Hostin. And once again, forgive me for any... Butchering of names, there's going to be a lot of that in this series. All Svenskan season preview, we are second in the power rankings to begin the season. MVP Toby Enstrom and our key arrival is Eric Olsen. I would think it would be Jacob Winquist, but Eric Olsen's pretty solid too. Uh, Berglund invited to Boston's camp, so Victor Berglund uh, might be going over to Boston for a little bit. And same thing for Matthias Fromm, except he is going to Chicago instead. And that'll be from September 5th to September 15th. So is Fromm or Berglund in our lineup normally? I think Berglund is. Fromm isn't. Yeah, Berglund is in our lineup normally. And he's actually on our fourth defensive pair. So we don't even really technically need him. It's just that we are allowed to dress 22 skaters in this league. So he's on the fourth defensive pair with Norlander. So that shouldn't even be that big of a deal. We can just throw an Amon instead of him. Berglund and Fromm accept the tryout offers. So they're currently not on our roster. And one thing you guys will notice, if, if you've noticed it by now, there is no Trade Center link on the top row. Meaning, there's no trades in this GM mode. That's right. No trades at all in this league, as a matter of fact. The only way we acquire players is through free agency and by other players being made available by their teams. They have to be made available in order to uh, request to acquire them, basically, is what's happening here. Moto Hockey jersey numbers to be decided, and this all looks good. I believe this was all auto-set. So here's what an example of what I was talking about, about guys being made available. So Lexon's IF boss, Thomas Johansson, has made his left winger, John Nuts, available so what we can do here is we can approach to buy him instead of approach to trade. So we can do something like this and there's going to be a transfer fee involved. There's monthly installments in case we want to have the transfer fee spread out over more time instead of just instantly. And then you can have the option of making the offer public or not. And then if you click on exchange, 
Uh, they're not interested in a part exchange deal. So I, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I, I think it's exchanging players. But for the most part, all it is is you're just effectively buying the player from the other team. And now I'm not going to make an offer for John Nuts here because I didn't really take the time to look at him. But I was just showing you guys an example of how you can acquire players in this particular uh, league. All Svensk on top goalies. First on the list is Johannes Janssen of AIK. And second in the league is Eric Hansies of your Moto Hockey. Third is Henrik Lundberg of Karlskroga. Linus Lundin of Moto is, also, is is fourth. So we have a couple of really good goaltenders here. Emil Cruz, uh, Vastaras, uh, Joel Gistad, Gistad <laughs> of Kristenstad, Victor Bratstrom of Timra, Linus Fernstrom of Altum, Altuna, Andreas L- y- Jungren of Tings- Tingsrid, and Olaf Lindbaum of Mora. I am so sorry, guys. I- to, to the Swedes out there, I, I genuinely apologize for all of my <laughs> butchering of these names and of and of team names. It's just going to happen. It's just one of those things. Uh, defensively, a oh, great. And that was just goaltenders. We still have defense, left wingers, centers, prospects, right wingers all to go through. So Kevin Ekman Larson of Karlskoga is the top defenseman. Then you have Adam Plant of Vastrovic. Chris Summers of your Moto Hockey. Turner Ottenbright of Karlskrona. Adam Musser of Mora, T- Toby Enstrom of Yormoto, Jerome Laduc of Vasteras, Sebastian Walfordson of Soder Talia, <laughs> Dylan Zink of Karlskrona, and Eric Waugh of Ting- Tingsgrid. Man, I am butchering these names big time. Top left wingers, Magnus Payarvi is here in the Alsvenskan with Soder Talia and... Henry Eikonen of also Sotoya, or however it's called. Marcus Eriksson of Vita Hasten. Sebastian Olsen of Timra. Eric Nystrom of Vastrovic. Frederick Olofsson of Your Moto Hockey. Jonathan Dahlin of Timra. Victor Allman of Vastrovic. Christopher ben- Bengston, Bengson of Sotoya. And Christopher Liliawal Lilly- of Sotoya. Top centers, Hugo Lavinius. Uh, great. Carl Skrona, sure. Hugo Lavinius. Uh, Oscar Lindbergh of Tingsrid. Mikhail Zukov of Carl Skoga. There's, there's a Carl Skoga and a Carl Skrona? Oh, God, that's going to mess me up so much. Simon Krikula of Vita Hasten. Uh, Tony Martinson of Altuna. Mikhail Johansson of Kristenstad. Patrick Blomberg of Vita Hasten. Joseph Johnson, Janssen of Tingsgrid, Frederick Johansson of Vastervaz, and Jonathan Johnson of Your Moto Hockey. Top right wingers, we have Patrick Saline of Mora, Frederick Forsberg of Karl Skoga, Victor Hertzberg of Vastervaz, Demir Ra- oh God, D- Demir Rakhimulin of Karl Skrona, Henrik Bjorklund of Your Moto Hockey, Evgeny Mosier of Almtuna, Kim Rojdal of Your Moto Hockey, Ziga Ye- Yeglich of Vastaraz, Sebastian Hartman of Timra, and Patrick Kalkvist of Your Moto Hockey. Now, top prospects, this should be interesting. So, Hugo Lavinius of Kr- Karlskrona, Jesper Eliasson of Almtuna, and Jacob Winkvist of Your Moto Hockey, Dmitry Zaitsev of Tingsrid. Victor's y- Yasunovs, Yasunovs of AIK, Joseph Janssen of Tingsred, Demir Rak- Rakim, oh god, this guy again, of <laughs> Karlskrona, Lucas Edmonds of Karlskrona, Oscar Masiello of Bita Hasten, and Jesper Meyerberg of Vastaras. So, I don't think... I should read off the team names anymore, at, at least for, uh, for for all the top list players, because you guys have seen my butcher jobs of not only names of players, but names of teams in this in this particular GM mode. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> I'm probably just going to spend like half the GM mode trying to pr- pronounce players' names. Anyway, here we go. Game number one of the regular season versus Vita Hasten. First period, and that will be two goals. One for Johnson and one for Olofsson. 
Olsen with an assist. Second period. Oh, we're all tied at two. Third period, and that will be a 3-2 win for Vita Hasten over Moto. And we have our home opener versus Vasteraz. Let's get into it. First period, that'll be a goal for them. Second period, and that'll be... There you go. Jacob Winquist, his first goal in Moto. He's got a long career and hopefully successful career ahead of him. I mean, he's got the looks of a future top 10 pick in the NHL written all over him. And then a goal by Carlquist. Third period. Oh my, that is a 4-2 to two loss against them. And the one bright spot of this game is that Jacob Winquist scored. But we, we are so far 0-2 on our season. We're hoping that that doesn't continue. And that we can get our first win here against Team Ra. The first period, that'll be two goals for them. Second period, all right, we got two, but they also got two. Hedberg and Winquist with another goal. Third period, oh, that's a 5-2 to two loss. And we are 0 for 3 so far in the regular season. That is not good. So Victor Berglund and Matthias Fromm are back from their NHL tryouts. So we're going to get Berglund back in the lineup. And if we can't win within the next couple of games here we're definitely gonna have to consider making a couple of changes because yeah not the greatest start especially in a league where we should be one of the top teams that's just not acceptable come on boys first win of the season right here no nope. aik is gonna win in the shootout one nothing and we are oh three oh and one on the season so far goals by headman norlander and johnson uh, assist from Winquist, assist from Olsen. So our rookie's doing pretty well to start the season. Everyone else, not so much. Not good. Chris Summers out for two weeks with a thigh strain in practice. That is unfortunate. Now, we cannot put players on the IR and it doesn't appear in this league. So where do injured players go? Do they go to unavailable? Yeah, unavailable. Okay. So I'm not used to that with the... Because uh, with the North American leagues, the injured players just stay on the roster. But here... They're actually, they moved to the unavailable uh, roster. So we have to get Anton Allman in there. And if we can't win this game here against Tingsred, we're going to need to, I guess, shuffle some guys around in the lineup because clearly something is not working. And that is going to be a 3-2 to two shootout win. So we've yet to win in regulation, but we did get the win. Yelver and Rosdahl with the goals. Winkvist with another assist. And Enstrom and Hedman with the goals in the shootout. So we did win our last game, but that being said, I feel like we are underperforming quite a bit, given that we were ranked second on the start of the season power rankings. So let's see what is going on with our guys. So Patrick Carlquist clearly succeeding with the style of play that his line is playing with an 820 average rating so far in five games. Olofsson, Yelvert, Winquist, all guys who are above a seven as well. Uh, Wormblom is at a 680. Bjorklund, Hagstrom, Rosedahl, and Sikos are all at 660. Uh, 640 for Johnson, 620 for Hagelin and Sillwander. So I'm going to take Hagelin and Sillwander out, and we're going to get, let's say, Ostrom and Karlstrom in there. And as for defense, unfortunately, we can't really scratch anybody because we have a full, uh, all, all, of our, all of our defensemen are playing. Tom Hedberg is at a 720 so far. Oscar Hedman at a 7. Tommy Enstrom at a 680. Tobias Enstrom at a 660. 640 for Eric Olsen. A 620 for Matthias Norlander and Victor Berglund and Anton Amon with a 6 each. And as for goaltenders, Linus Lindeen with a 9 average rating and a 1 save percentage. He has yet to let a goal by. And Hansies, unfortunately, with an 877 save percentage. And a 680 average rating in five games. So Lundin must have gotten in there in relief in one of those games. And I think because we can have 32 players on our roster, I think what I want to go after are a couple of extra defensemen so that we could fill out our roster a little bit more. So I am going to look for those guys right now. So there is absolutely nobody from Sweden on this list. So we're just going to have to choose someone from North America here, it looks like, or from Russia. So let's take someone who might not be picked up by an NHL team so that we can not worry about losing them. And obviously we're going to do our usual of anticipation set to 50, work rate set to 65, and determination set to 65 as well. And that narrows us down to four players. We have Frank Hora, David Mikowski, Artem Volkov, and 
Nikita Lyamkin. I think out of all these guys, I like Mikowski and Hora the best because they have a really, really good mental category. Both of them do with the teamwork and work rate and the determination. And then uh, same for this guy. He has a 93 determination. So we're going to get both of these guys signed. So Frank Hora wants 132000 for one year. We will give him that. And David Mikowski, what does he want? He wants to be a key player as well. And he wants 154000 We can do that for him. And here we have a game against Kristenstad. Let's view it. First period, we have a 1-1 tie. Goal by Eric Olsen, our 14-year-old rookie, getting his first goal in the pros in Sweden. Second period, we have a goal by Karlqvist. Third period, and there you go. And also, Olsen's, Olsen's goal was assisted by the other 14-year-old, Jacob Winquist. And then we have goals by Olsen, Bjorklund, and Wernblom. Uh, Winquist with another assist, and then, yeah, a 5-1 win for our first regulation win of the season. And unfortunately, right after scoring his first goal, the kid gets injured for a few days with a lower leg contusion. Hopefully it's not a serious injury. And Frank Hora has accepted our offer. We will indeed sign him. Fans celebrate getting Hora, so I guess that was a really good signing. And Mikowski has also accepted our offer. Let's see if the fans celebrate this one as well. And they also celebrated that one. So it looks like we're getting some pretty darn good players here, at least for this league. And let's see how they work out for us on the back end. We're going to take out Norlander, and we're going to take out Victor Berglund, and we'll put in Frank Hora and David Mikowski. Our 14-year-old stud, Jacob Winquist, with six points so far in six games. This kid is going to be a stud. And we have the last game of the month, I believe, against Rastervik. Let's view it. First period, that'll be nothing doing. <laughs> Second period, we have two goals for Moto from Johnson and Olofsson. And Mikowski with an assist in his debut game. Third period, and that'll be another goal for Olofsson from Johnson and Bjorkland for the 3-1 to one regulation win. So, end of September, standings update. We are currently in 10th. So I don't think that we are getting relegated, but we're currently not sitting in the playoff spot. So that is not acceptable. We have got to get up to those top eight teams and preferably to the top two so that we can be promoted to the SHL. Game against Karlskoga, we have a 3-2 to two overtime win from goals by Toby Enstrom, Frederick Olofsson, and Toby Enstrom for the OT winner. Winkvist with another assist on the OT winner. And the kid keeps impressing and game against Mora, we have a 3-2 win in regulation. Goals by Wormblom, Ostrom, and Makowski, the newly acquired defenseman. So all of a sudden, with these new players, new, the new defenseman that we inserted into our lineup, we are looking pretty good. And Chris Summers is back. We're going to get him back in the lineup. So we'll take out Enstrom, and we'll put in Chris Summers. And we're also going to get Lundin some time in net. Game against, B uh, oh goodness, Bjork Lovin. And that will be a 4-3 shootout loss against them. And in comeback fashion for them as well, we had goals by Almond, Johnson, and Karkvist. And they got three and then one in the shootout, unfortunately. And game against Carlos Krona. Let's see it. First period, that will be a nothing-nothing tie. Second period, that will be a 1-1 tie. A goal for them. And a goal by Olofsson from Karkvist. Third period, That'll be a 4-2 loss. That is rough. Johnson from Mikowski. And then they get three goals within a minute of each other, basically. A minute 18. And that is unfortunate. They're 4-7, too. That is a brutal loss. Tommy Sikos injured for three weeks with hip flexor strain. And we're going to have to take him out of the lineup, unfortunately. And we'll get Daniel Sowander in there because he's unhappy. Because he's shocked that we don't treat him as an important player, apparently. So... We're going to give him another chance to work his way back into the lineup. Game against Sodertale. And we have a 4-1 to one win. There you go. Goals by Winkvist, Olofsson, and Johnson, and Karlqvist. And Winkvist also had an assist on Olofsson's goal. So Winkvist continues to impress in his 14-year-old season. My goodness, what a stud. Yep, there you go. Talented Winkvist, given boost. This kid is 14 years of age, playing in a men's league. And game against Vita Hosten. Let's see it. First period, that'll be a goal for Ostrom from Omen and Bjorkland. Second period, that'll be a goal for them. Third period, yes, we win 3-2 in regulation. Olofsson from Karlqvist and Winkvist. And then Solander with a goal to give us the 3-2 W. We win in the shootout 5-4. 
is the final score. Winkfest, Bjorkland, Silwander, and Johnson with the goals in regulation, and Enstrom with the shootout winner. And game against Team Ra, we have a 3-1 to loss, unfortunately. Goal by Carlquist is the only goal of the game for us. And they had three goals, one the empty net. And Joachim Haglin has requested to leave Moto Hockey. He feels he's been unfairly left out of the team. Well, I guess, unfortunately, we have to balance things out here. But it's it's not like he's... Yeah, he's really not a key player anyway. So, sure, I will honor that request. Put him on the transfer list. See if we can get any money back for him. And game against Albtuna, we win 4-2. to two. Olofsson from Mikowski and Johnson. Then we have Johnson from Bjorklund and Rosdahl. Then we have Rosdahl from Bjorklund and Hora. And then we have Olofsson from Carlquist and Johnson. And game against AIK. They're currently in first. This is a huge game. Come on, boys. And that is a 3-2 OT win. Let's go. Goals by Heikstrom, Olofsson, and Sulwander. And the player of the month is Jacob Halyemo of Tingsgrid. And the rookie of the month is also Jakob Halyemo of Tingsgrid. And speaking of which, we have a game against them right now. Let's see. And that will be a 3-2 shootout win with goals by Olofsson and Hedberg in regulation. And then Allman with the goal in the shootout to win it. Rip. We accidentally <laughs> we accidentally uh, ignored our goalie rotations there. Maybe that's partially why we have lost some of the games that we've lost. But we're definitely going to get handsies in there. I, I'm sorry, Eric. It won't happen again. <laughs> And Tommy Sikos is back, so we're going to get him in in favor of Magnus Hagstrom. He hasn't exactly been great. And game against Christian Stad, we have a 4-2 win against them. Goals by Johnson, Carlquist, Silwander, and Olofsson. And unfortunately, Tommy Enstrom also wants out of the team because he feels like he's been left out. And I guess that's going to be a common theme here. So we, we have to make sure the players who we're scratching don't get scratched for too long, especially if they're key players. And unfortunately, we are right now in the negatives for our balance. We are at negative 200,000. That is unfortunate. We're definitely going to have to figure that out soon. Because obviously, if we don't have any money, that we then we can't, you know, we can't hire anyone. We can't sign any players. We can't hire any staff. It's kind of necessary. So actually, I'm going to stop it right here because the balance situation has made it interesting here. What do we do to become profitable here? I mean, obviously, we could look at the income and expenditure, and we see most of our expenditures are on wages. And that would obviously involve either sending players out or firing some of our staff. So maybe do we fire one of these physio guys? Or what else do we do? Because beyond one physio guy, then it comes down to players, and I don't want to get rid of too many of our players at once. Is it just that we need to start winning more games or do we need to do we need to schedule some games in between these games so that we can get more revenue? Like if we schedule a home game, let's say right here, do we get more revenue out of that? I would assume so. So maybe that's something we could do, but you guys have to let me know here. But before we end it off, we're going to check out the stats. So for goaltenders, Linus Lundin has a 914 and a 770 average rating. And for Hansies, he has a 907 save percentage and a 755 average rating. And defensively, we have Enstrom and Mikowski with 10 points each. Hedberg with 6. Hedman and Olsen with 5. Amen with 3. Hora and Norlander with 2. Berglund and Tommy Enstrom with 1. And then Summers with none so far. Average ratings, Mikowski with a 785. He's been a great pickup so far. Toby Enstrom with a 732. Uh, Hedberg with a 695, Hora with a 692, Hedman with a 689, Amon with a 687, Olsen with a 674, Berglund and Tommy Enstrom with 677s for both of them, Chris Summers with a 664, and Matt Matthias Norlander with a 650. Forwards we have for points, Frederick Olofsson with 21, Karlqvist with 19, Johnson with 15, Bjorklund with 11, Winkvist with 11, so Winkvist definitely slowed down there a little bit. We're going to have to try to figure out how to get him going again. Maybe he's just hit the rookie wall, so we're going to have to try to get him over that wall so that he can continue producing points for us, like we know that he can. Kim Rosdahl with 8 points, Ostrom with 6, Wormblom with 5, Sowander with 4, Hagstrom, Yelvert, Karlstrom, Sikos, all with two, and from has not played Haglin with nothing in five games. Average ratings, Olofsson with an eight, 
Kralkvist with a 774, Winkvist with a 726, Bjorklund with a 705, Rosdahl with a 679, Wormblom with a 674, Yelvert with a 663, Silwander with a 662, Sikos with a 658, same thing for Johnson, 657 for Ostrom, 643 for Karlstrom, 620 for Haglin, and a 617 for Hagstrom. And we may as well do a standings update as well. We're currently in fifth with 19 games played, seven wins in regulation, five losses, five overtime and shootout wins, and two overtime and shootout losses. We're currently sitting at 33 points. We are one point out of second, which means right now it's anybody's game. So I'll leave you guys off there. Let me know what we should do. And I'll see you guys in the next one.